Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Wheats, everyone who is here. I am your host. I've never said that before. Um, so this is a first time for that. Welcome, guys. Welcome to Wheats. We are the Marijuana Edible Review Show. Um, we review marijuana edibles, uh, meaning when you guys go to your dispensary and you see that big wall of products with all those names and all those different kinds of packages and different milligramages and different yada, yada, yadas, and you're just like, holy shit, how do I know what to spend my money on? Watch some of our videos. That's what we do. That's what we're here for. Kappa in the house. Always glad to have my boy Kappa here. I am doing well, sir. How about yourself? Let me address right off the bat. I am already astronomically high. Here is, here lies, the remains of a uh, can of coat, excuse me, 500 milligrammer. This is all that's left. Started this bad boy, I don't know, about three hours ago, something like that. And that's all that remains. And I am uh, I, I am uh, as high as I've been in, in, um, in, in, in a couple of weeks. Oh, congrats, Kappa. I'm glad you found some people out there. Um, hopefully they'll uh, be able to hook you up with, uh, with some large, large, large quantities like you're looking for. Um, that's awesome. Hey, welcome, Moraima. Glad, glad you made it. Uh, in case you missed it, we're just talking about uh, I am already blitzed out my skull. Um, I uh, am 80% of the way through a, uh, a Canico 500 milligrammer. Uh, yes, I am planning on getting super, super, super high. Um, I'm already, uh, I'm, I'm, I am actually already higher than I was, uh, last week after doing that thousand milligrams of syrup, which I wish I hadn't necessarily done the stream for cause I'm, I don't want to buy that shit again cause it's so fucking expensive. Um, uh, <laughs> nice, nice man. Good for your lungs. Good for your lungs. Um, uh, and now I already lost track of what I was saying. Oh, no, I'm already, yes, I'm already way higher than I was after that 1,000 milligram syrup, and that's after just 80% of a, uh, uh, of a can of co. That syrup was, was no bueno, not worth the money, definitely not 1,000 milligrams, or definitely not compared to, you know, sort of like anything like 1,000 milligrams. Um, and you know what I, I need to learn to do, guys, and this is just between all of us. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Um, here, here is. Uh, I'm, I'm bummed that you're not gonna have an edible, but hopefully you're, you're a little bit high for the stream. Uh, what are you doing tonight, by the way? Anything exciting? Um, uh, I can't remember what I was gonna say. I'm too fucking high. This is. Whew. Looking forward to eating the rest of this. I also brought, as some refreshment, uh, G drink, no, new two times more THC. Cold blue lemonade, cannabis infused. How how pretty is that color? Looks like um, something you'd wash your dishes with. Yeah, I like it. Blue is objectively the best flavor um, of any flavor uh, when it comes to flavors. You know, it's better than purples, it's better than reds, certainly better than greens or yellows. Generally, if there's a... Um, a choice of colors uh, between flavors, you go for the blue. Oh, dude, nice. Nice Saturday stroll. Hopefully the weather is nice where you're at. Hopefully you're not somewhere where the... Um... My week has been really good. Uh, it has been it has been pretty good. Um, uh, getting ready for this big tolerance break, you know. Um, haven't haven't uh, been doing the smart thing, which would be to be ramping down my cannabis usage 
uh, that would be the smart thing to do. Instead, um, I think which one which one came out actually? Here's okay, quick wheat secret. Um, quick little wheat secret. Help yes. Uh, I'll have to check my email. Uh, oh, dude, that's incredible, Kappa. That's incredible, Kappa. Help yes. Let me check my email in just a bit. I'll check my email. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Um, all right, real quick. Uh, God damn, I keep forgetting what I was trying to say. <laughs> I'm so high. Oh yeah, quick wheat secret. Uh, I have, there are already all the videos scheduled between now and like for a month out. They just, they're just auto scheduled. I, I don't have anything to do with it. I don't, I don't, I can't remember what's coming out when. And they're all scrambled uh, chronologically. So I have, I, cause I don't, I didn't keep track. I forgot to date them when I was shooting them, which is dumb. Um, so they're just released in this big scramble. <laughs> I am, dude, I am so high. Uh, that's, but, uh, oh, oh, yes. Okay. Let me answer these questions in order here. Uh, what edibles should you try in Cali? Kappa. You got to try, of course, Canico. If you have not tried Canico, you got to try it. You got to try it. You should also try Flourish gummies. Uh, if you're at all, if you at all like gummies and want to do some gummies, they're the best gummies I've found, Flourish gummies. I mean, I don't think they were necessarily as good as the best, as like Canico or Corova for your money. But, you know, if you're looking for a gummy, something small and discreet to try with you, you got to give them a go. Um, let me think. Uh, oh, I, in terms of, uh, I would, I would actually try some cannabis syrups. Uh, Kappa, I would give some cannabis syrups a try. They're pretty much everywhere now. I see them all, all over the place. Um, Got to give them a try. They're cool, discreet, easy to take with you, uh, easy to transport, easy to get down. Uh, give them, give them a chance. Um, and uh, let's see what else. What else would I recommend off the top? Oh me head. Um, um, in terms of oh 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 I got a good one for you Kappa you gotta get um, Flourish costs uh, a ten between ten and twelve dollars for their hundred and fifty milligrams and about twenty bucks for their three hundred milligrams um, and uh, so they come in two different sizes yeah there's hundred fifty three hundred and it's ten or twelve bucks and then twenty bucks and they're totally worth it and the other one uh, Kappa you gotta give a try. Uh, I'm going to give you two chocolate bar brands. Both of these are great. Um, one tastes a little better than the other, uh, but the other one, it just in terms of getting you high, is crazy good. Uh, you got to give, you've got to give um, uh, Kiva a chance. Kiva chocolate bars, they're so good. They are so, so, I mean, they're just good chocolate. And they're only 180 milligrams, but I mean, they, they hit, you know, twice, they punch twice their weight class for sure. Uh, and you've also got to give Delta 9 a try. They're another chocolate bar. They come in the triangle packaging, um, the triangular packaging. Uh, they're 240 milligrams, and man, they're so good. Uh, okay, uh, then definitely give Delta 9 a try. It's not like they taste bad by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, they, they, they taste totally good. They're just not as good. I mean, Kiva is I, – I would eat a Kiva bar – just plain i would just grab and eat a kiva bar even if it didn't have cannabis in it it's that good um uh. oh no dude help yes that's a bummer uh i hate it when i get high and it keeps me up if i you know smoke some kind of strain that uh makes me more wired when i want to go to sleep it, it happens infrequently but it does happen Oh, dude, Kappa, you're going to be, um, yes, yeah, I saw that, Morima. it's terrible, it's terrible, I hope nobody, I hope, uh, nobody who watches these videos, I hope nobody who enjoys these videos is gonna be, I mean, I, I, I honestly, I mean, of course, I hope nobody is, uh, gets hurt, uh, I hope nobody, uh, you know, is going to face devastation, but it, it, it looks like, holy shit, uh, you know, it, it, 
it bro just broke the record I heard for uh, being the first hurricane to have 24 hours of sustained 150 mile per hour winds. That's insane. That's insane. 150 miles per hour winds for a whole day. I mean, I, you can't comprehend how fast 150 mile per hour wind is. I mean, that's uh, it, it's it's unimaginably destructively fast. Uh, Jesus. Uh, the, yes, there are all all the hurricanes, uh, all of the tropical storms, and now uh, earthquakes. Earthquakes. Notwithstanding with what I'm about to say, that doesn't not, not does not reflect what I'm about to say. But the other ones, yes, and global warming does not exist. Yeah, we we have uh, two of the most uh, powerful hurricanes of all time concurrently um, bearing down on us, and uh, climate change is all a giant Chinese hoax. That is that is true. That is true. There is no. Just because uh, our planet is seems to be uh, uh, rebelling with, uh, I'm not bam, 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 bam. I'm not trying to get. Ugh. <laughs> well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yes, there is a lot of shit happening. There's a lot of shit happening, and I'm sorry to have gotten political. It's just no. There's no reason. There's no jest. There's no jest. There's just no. I don't need to. Don't need to espass my views. You know what I think I'm going to do, guys? In this sort of disgusting looking jar, I use this as my bowl for my um, uh, dabs. Uh, I use I use a nectar collector. Here's my nectar collector right here. Let's do a let's let's light it up and do a nice dab together. All right, here we go, guys. And again, help, yes. Really, really appreciate those kind words, man. That's really kind of you. Uh, more Emma, I actually have a video on this. I have an experiment. The results, though, I'll just, uh, I'll, spoiler alert, is uh, I, I truly firmly believe that an empty stomach or a mostly empty stomach is better than a full, full, full stomach i mean definitely 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 don't want to be completely completely full um you don't have to be you don't have to be uh your your stomach doesn't have to be empty but just don't be like um um now any any let me do this dab guys sorry Pro tip, pro my small pro tip for anybody uh, who is, you know, when you hear of cannabis science sort of secondhand is to um, to take it with a grain. <laughs> Thanks, man, I did. Is to take it with a grain of salt. Uh, coming from a science communicator, uh, I mean, there's just not a whole lot of cannabis research, especially about how cannabis interacts with lipids and this and that i mean there's there is you know there is a decent amount of body of research out there but but in terms of like ultra specific things you know it's I, I, um my my opinion is going to be just you know uh for for all we know uh cannabis is is affects people in such idiosyncratic ways such uh, particularly, you know, uh, individualized ways that whatever my tolerance is or however I experience weed on an empty or full stomach could be completely different than somebody else's. Um, and the science just isn't established. Like, it could be true for one person and be entirely different for someone else. Um, oh, uh, Sacramento. Ah, the old capital. So weird that Sacramento is the capital of California. I live in California. I've only lived here for, you know, a little over a year and a half. But even then, hey, welcome, Travis. Um, and what strain was I dabbing on? Uh, I think the strain is 
Uh, it was made by Ari Gold. Uh, that is the name of the, uh, which I believe is a character from Entourage. Never actually seen the show, but I think that's. But uh, it's, I think it's Jack Herrera. It's um, Jack Herrera, which I I like as a sativa. I don't really. Here's a. Um, first off, welcome back, welcome Travis. Glad you're here. Ooh, chocolate cherry pie. That sounds great. That sounds really fun. Um, yes, it is. Uh, but if I'm being entirely honest, um, I, I strain, like Indica Sativa does not, the, the delineation for me isn't that strong. Like, um, I, I, for some people, uh, the, the, um, the difference is huge. The difference is, 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 I mean, it's enormous between indica and sativa, you know. For some, uh, you know, one will make them wired and super creative, and the other one they'll just, you know, pass out and want to go to sleep. Um, uh, and um, for me, however, it doesn't really matter. Science sort of, and, and here... Here I go, uh, you know, being sort of ironic, just telling you to uh, disregard most people who tell you to, uh, you know, put anything up for science research. Uh, research does kind of back me up on it, though, that, that in the Cassativas, according to like double blind research, uh, people really can't tell the difference. But that doesn't mean that everybody can't. That just means that those people that, you know, 80% of the people in that one sample size couldn't and 20% still could, which is above average, so that there are still people who theoretically could, but, you know, on the whole. Now, I don't mean to talk about Indica Sativa too much. Um, I, I'm just saying I am not the most... Um, uh, I, I, I don't have the greatest sense of the difference between the two, uh, the two, uh, the two types. It's all pretty much the same to me. Um, uh, but, but why M M V there for sure? Uh, yes, I am. I, I, Again, it's your mileage may vary. It it really depends on the person, guys. I'm gonna have to turn on my AC. It's getting a little warm in here. I'm gonna be sorry for the interference. Tell me to turn it off when it starts bothering people, because I'll forget. Because I'm super high. Speaking of super high, maybe it's time to finish this uh, wonderful Canico. Oh, I don't have the package in here, but I have this thing, the yellow part. Huh. Help, yes, that is good to know. Uh, I will see what's going on with my Twitter uh, because Twitter has not been uh, my f best. May maybe there's something going on with my account that's preventing. <coughs> you might not be the only one. Um, so let me, let me, I'm going to mess around with my Twitter and see what's going on. Uh, maybe I'll even do that right now before I finish this peanut fudge brownie from. Uh, the wonderful folks at Canna Co. Twitter. Log in. Log in. Profile. Okay, Twitter. Why, 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 why can't I get DMs? Someone send me a DM and see what happens. Um, ben S, guess what? I saw it the movie as well. I saw it at 10:55 p.m. on Thursday night. Ben, what did you think of it? I have feelings. I want to know yours before I announce mine. I'm really curious to know what you saw, what you thought, buddy. Um, uh, yes. Travis, I feel the exact same. That's one of my favorite things about edibles is that the high seems to go on and on and on. You don't have to sort of reload, as it were, uh, like with smoking, vaping, or you know, dabbing, whatever. You don't have to keep going back to the well. You just do it once, you set it, and forget it. It's like a Ronco fucking uh, rotisserie oven, you know? That's what edibles are like. You just set it and forget it, dog. Eat that edible, ride that train. Oh, yes. Um, what is my favorite Canico confectionery? 
Uh, how about their blondie or cookie brownie? Uh, my favorite might be uh, the lemon bar, actually. I like, I'm a big fan of lemon bars. Uh, so if you're not a lemon bar guy, you might not like it, but I, I happen to like lemon bars. Um, so I, I like it uh, quite a bit. Um, ah, I love Travis Sainter. I love the mint dip. Love the mint dip. So good. Um, yes, the 3DE, which is weird because it w was it in 3D anywhere? But it had that bizarre, like, I, I don't even know what you would describe that effect as, Ben S. Like the... Um, that almost 3D effect in the 2D plane where it kind of plunged through 3D space. Ugh, it was, it was, it was macabre. It was bizarre. It was, it was, it was, uh, it was, I mean, it was tr genuinely disconcerting. Um, I, uh, I am an inc huge, 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 huge IT fan. I read it when I was in fifth grade. I read it was when I was in fifth grade. Uh, scared the bejesus out of me. Uh, probably shouldn't have been allowed to read it in fifth grade. Uh, I had parents that just, you know, didn't care about shit like that. Uh, yeah, they're rare, Moraima. They're they're uh, not everywhere. Uh, Travis Tanner, that is kind of true. Yes. Um, I'll give a mini review. I'll try to spoil it as least as possible. Uh, so I read the book when I was in fifth grade. Um, now. Oh, wait, Twitter notifications. Did I get... Oh, sent me... Okay, I guess I got a a, uh, a, a DM there from Louis Vio. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that, man. I am high as fuck. I am so fucking high. Um, I'm not going to give any spoilers or anything. Uh, so the book is a classic. The book is has uh things I, I okay so i here's quick 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 story about it and i am sorry that i'm gonna go on this diet this uh this brief tangent so uh i read it when i was in fifth grade and it was my favorite novel for probably until like the end of high school until i basically discovered like you know contemporary literature so I discovered things like, um, you know, like uh, Dave Eggers, David Foster Wallace, Michael Chabon, uh, you know, Gary Steingart, authors like that. The good guys, you know, the good contemporary authors. Um, uh, huh. Oh, that was you who dropped a comment on my most recent tweet? I saw that. It's weird that you can't DM. I wonder why. I wonder what's going on. Um, so, uh, guys, I will get to your questions in just a second. I'm being a huge jerk. I'm, I, uh, so, it yeah, read the book. Uh, it was my favorite uh, book for, for, for a long, long time. Forgot about it. You know, forgot about Stephen King because uh, I read every Stephen King novel you know, that existed up until I was probably like a sophomore in high school when I stopped like reading Stephen King. But between like fourth grade and 10th grade, I read, you know, the 35 Stephen King novels or whatever. And uh, loved them, loved them, loved them. Eventually entirely forgot about them. Um, then uh, last year, I heard that the new It movie was coming out and on a lark, I just, I had an audible credit. I was like, you know what? Uh, yeah, I am super high. Damn it, I keep, I gotta stop looking at chat for now. Um, uh, then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get the audiobook for it. So I picked up the audiobook, 45 hours long, took me about a, about three weeks to listen to, which actually is really quick, <laughs> uh, for a 45 hour audiobook. And I expected to have be feel nostalgic, but kind of like, uh, oh, well, that was, you know, that was okay. Like, um, uh, uh, and, and just to feel that it was nothing but like the only enjoyment I would get it from it is nostalgia. That was not the case at all. I was blown away by it. It was a, it is 
it is it is sort of a, a, a masterpiece. Um, uh, it's uh, uh, the the best parts are almost the weirdest parts. Uh, and the book is is, is 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 so weird. It's 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 almost weirder than I remember, and I remember it being horrifically weird. And I mean, there's like a child sex orgy and um, um, kids jerking kids off and. Uh, the b- beginning of the book opens with them like killing um, uh, like a gay guy for being gay. I mean, it's just horrific, awful stuff. Uh, but the s- weird, almost um, uh, how would you describe it? Almost Lovecraftian stuff in it is so good. It's so good. I, l- I enjoyed it immensely. Um, let me answer your questions, then I'll talk about the movie. Let's see. Uh, lemon bar, yes, it's a little bit rare. I've only seen it in a couple dispensaries. I've had it a couple of times. It's really good. Give it a shot if you see it. It's my favorite, probably Canico product. Um, do I? Uh, Travis then said uh, it wasn't exactly a horror movie. We'll talk about it in just a second again. Do you feel ready for your intolerance break? Not really. Uh, Instead of going, you know, like ramping down, I was, I was saying this earlier, instead of ramping down, sort of, you know, getting ready for it, uh, I've done the opposite. I have done nothing but get, you know, more and more high every day. Like, oh God, I'm, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it. I better get high. I better get as high as I can, as often as I can. So, you know, it's bad in that way. Uh, and then Kappa, I've never tried Sprig 45 milligram soda. Uh, but it sounds good. I've, I've never tried actually any weed sodas. I've seen a few, uh, advertised, but I've never actually seen any in stock. But I, if I, uh, find Sprig, uh, I'll do it. Help, yes, I have no idea what is going on with my Twitter account. Uh, once I get up the stream, I'll go ahead and take a look at it. Um... Oh no, uh, Marama, you got caught by your parents. How 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 uh, how old were you, if you don't mind? I ask when when your your parents found out that you were smoking weed. Your anti weed uh, parents, uh, Kappa. I don't know what your wat is referring to in spe- uh, specifically. I I'm gonna guess it may be something about uh, the more disturbing parts of it, like the. A uh, kid who gets sucked to death by leech monsters after jerking off the bully. Um, maybe something like that. Uh, yes, it's crazy. It's bizarre. It's disturbing. It's, uh, it, 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 it's unnecessary at parts, but I can't help it, I, the fact that I liked it. Um, have you ever had a problem with anyone because of your M? Uh, nope. Never. No, nobody's ever had a problem with it. I don't know who would have a problem with it. I, I, I don't necessarily keep company that would have a problem with it. I, um, uh, but uh, uh, I guess if somebody were to have a problem with it, we wouldn't be having... Uh, I wouldn't associate with them anyways. Um, so... Um, I like the way the scenery is in the movie. The colors are interesting. Agreed. I did. I really have to use phone because they're more conservative. That's a bummer. Conservative parents are is a big, big, big bummer. Ugh. Ugh, yes, Mariah, I understand. It's a total bummer. The the irony of alcohol, the irony of um, opiates is is one of the 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 craziest ironies of our ironic generation i do not get it i do not get it at all uh, i i wish people would be more educated about it um uh ooh, i've had a the habit not sparkling soda but i've had like their sparkling just drinks before and i liked it quite a bit they were they were pretty good they were pretty good the habit sparkling 100 milligrams two years ago um oh as a kid Whew. Man, I, I just don't understand. Yes, people should definitely change their attitudes towards weed. I think people are. Uh, um, yeah, Kappa, grab some of those. They're pretty good. Um, what what drink did I just have recently? Oh, Kappa. Kappa, Kappa. 
if you can find them cheap, I've I found them cheap only really once, but man, it knocked my socks off. I picked up two of them. Uh, this will be a spoiler review for a future review, so I'm sorry. If you find Zasp, it's a drink. It's a like eight and a half milligram drink, so it's closer to like a syrup than a drink. But if you find Zasp, Zasp is great. Oh my god, it's, woo, it is so good. I have p two positive reviews of them coming out sometime. I can't remember when they're scheduled for, but if you see Zasp, grab Zasp. Knowledge is key, and knowledge is spreading, Moraima. It The the uh, culture is changing. I swear to God, I, I it's, it's I, I don't know the last time I said I swear to God, but it, I think Netflix has released two shows about weed in the past month, which is crazy, like, sitcom-y things about weed or something that's bizarre uh, and, and just shows it's public mainstream acceptance um, yeah yeah the Saturday morning cookie is so good so good help yes yes there is a limit to how high somebody can get for sure I mean, you're going to green out at some point. All right. Let's do another Dabski. Oh, and I still have to finish that brownie. So I broke the um, the actual mouthpiece, the little straw, to my nectar collector, but I still use it because I'm too cheap to buy a new one. And isn't it, well, that's the end of our dabs because I am out of, out of the old butane, I think. Here we go. Kappa's a real <coughs> Kappa's a pro. Kappa's a goddamn pro. Kappa might be more of a pro than I am. Kappa just doesn't know the market as well as I do. Um, being from the southeast, the devil's area. Ironically, in the Bible's belt. <laughs> the Bible's belt. The Bible belt. <coughs> I am high. I am high. Travis Saner. Travis, have you seen my review for the Corova Salted Caramel Brownie? If not, I suggest you search for the Corova Salted Caramel Brownie review uh, because we have uh, opinions that you might call similar uh, on that matter. Uh, you might want to take a look. Uh, Yes, the the the, uh, the KKK of edibles. Uh, uh, yeah, more more. As I said, Kappa, Kappa is Kappa's an expert, and I'm so glad Kappa you got to try those punch bars. Those punch bars, they're really good. I I I, I hope them a lot of success. I'm starting to see them at more places, more and more places. Uh, they just do. Um, they just do really great work. They they have a really decent tasting chocolate. I mean, it's not great, but it's so small, so discreet, so easy to take with you. You just grab and go. Love how discreet they are. And they, I mean, they they're definitely as strong as advertised. Uh, and for something so small, they don't taste terrible. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I I quite enjoy the the, the punch bar edibles. I, I, I recommend them often to people who are like, oh, you know. Oh, yes. The remainder of my brownie. The peanut fudge brownie. Mmm. Now, 
for a 500 milligram edible. Caveat mTOR. Well, that's my asterisk. I'm making an asterisk. Travis Sander, that is my favorite brand of brownie. That is Canico. K A N E H space C O period. Canico. Now, for a 500 milligram edible, it tastes okay. Like, 500 milligram edibles should be disgusting. Like, um, you know, um, even Corova's 500 milligram edibles taste really bad. They do not taste good at all. But this tastes, it's not good. I mean, it's not good. You're not going to be like, man, I fucking. But you're not going to be like. <laughs> while you're eating it either. Well, I've got a frog in my throat while I'm doing it. But all that being said, all of that being said, um, <laughs> eating a whole one of these is still difficult. It's still not. It's not. It's not an easy thing to do. It is. I mean, even not outside the taste. It's just big, thick, and rich. There's a ton of it. Uh, I, I don't have the box in front of me, unfortunately. I'm curious to know how many calories. It's. It's probably over. I'm gonna guess it's like 800 or more calories or something in this damn thing. So it's just a big glob, and and it's and just the fact that it doesn't taste. In order to eat something like this in real life, and not have trouble getting through it. It would have to be delicious, and the fact that it just tastes not good makes it, you know, tough to eat a whole one of these. So, I'm, I'm not looking forward to finishing this. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like, oh, yum, 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 yum. But I'm, I'm having trouble giving this. Like, I'm like, ugh, okay. But look, we'll get it down. Yuck, yuck. Your vision was in HD. I like that. I'll have to check for my... Uh, I haven't checked that email yet, but I will look as soon as we get off the stream. I'm looking forward to see what's going on. Jack Herrera is such a great strain, and it makes uh, a pretty good concentrate as well. Um, that is my go-to uh, sativa, is Jack Herrera. Um... Uh, again, I, I don't really find that I have that much of a difference in terms of Indica Sativa, but Jack Herrera does make me feel, uh, it doesn't make me feel as sleepy as some other strains. So, you know, maybe that there is some truth to there. Um, makes you feel alive. I love the way that sounds. Makes you feel, makes you feel alive. Uh, Travis Singer, yes, that is the case uh i that is definitely the case with um uh some of like the infused creations or edipures the ones that are basically just like dipped in cannabis oil and it's just like you're basically it'd be like breaking open a uh a cartridge and just you know dipping in it as like for a chicken nugget or something uh uh um those are terrible, and then can I, or Corova's salted caramel blondie, that also just makes me want to gag. Um, but yes, uh, uh, I I have wanted to gag while trying edibles before. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, you always wish it would taste great, but they all can't taste great. Actually, maybe even the last time I did the. Um, uh, Corova Black Bar, the thousand milligram Black Bar. That was hard. That was really hard to get through too. It's, I mean, it is. It's not that big, but there's a lot to it, man. And ugh, ugh, ugh. Let's do another dab. Let's just go. Well, that's what we're doing tonight, right, guys? We're shooting for the moon. We're going. Woo! We're gonna get hot. We're gonna be higher than anybody's ever been in history. That's what. That's what I promise. 
So let's do it up. Oh wait! <laughs> wait, 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 guys, guys. Um, I I already forgot. I already forgot. I said something about butane. But let me look to see if I do have some. BRB. Success! Success! What edible reviews are coming out soon, Wheats? Marima, that is a great question. I actually uh, don't really precisely know off the top of my head. I could look it up. Uh, maybe I will here in just a second uh, if I could figure out how to get from A to B. Um, but uh, I, I, I admitted to this earlier. I'll admit to it again here. Um, I have actually... Um, uh, <laughs> I've... <laughs> I've actually scheduled all of the reviews for the next month. Uh, they're all already uploaded, and they're just automatically coming out Thursday or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, every week for like a month. Um, so I I can't remember what order I put them in. I can't remember. But let me give you an idea of some brands that are coming out soon. We're gonna have some. Uh, more cannabis syrups. We're gonna have. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, we're gonna have some fun things like some more capsule reviews. We're gonna have some. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I'll just do this. Let's just give you some spoilers here. Oh, help, yes, that sounds terrible. More, yeah, we've reviewed capsules once before. We've reviewed capsules once before, but um, uh, we'll be doing one more. Uh, let's see. Uh, ooh, here's a... We do have a Chiba Chew review coming out at some point. Um, we're finally reviewing a Chiba Chew. It's coming out at some point. Um... Let's see. Uh, we've got oh the uh, aforementioned Zasp, the drinks is Zasp. Uh, oh, we'll finally be reviewing uh, the chocolate bar products. Uh, Varavo, 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 Varavo. Holy shit! I had I have so much trouble with that name, but we'll be reviewing it. Uh, let's see. We'll be reviewing, um, some more Magooch, uh, some more, uh, Liquid Gold Bars coming up. Let's see. Da -da 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 Well, maybe that's, you know what, that's, that's enough spoilers for now. That's enough spoilers for now. But that's kind of what we got coming out in the pipeline. Uh, Marima, I have, I'll, I'll give you a hint, I'll give you a, uh, a, you have to wait for the total review to find out, but I'll give you a hint for now. I have strong opinions about Chiba Chews. I have strong opinions. Uh, you'll find out what those are. Oh, I was supposed to be refilling this. God, I am so high. Whew! Uh, finished the Defenders last weekend. Um, it was okay. Uh, it was fun seeing all those characters come together. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, I, I'm glad that the, uh, I had a friend say this, and I'm going to steal it from him. Uh, I'm sorry about that sound. I'm sure it's super annoying. Um, I had a friend say this about it. I'm so, I am so glad that the hand will be gone. That'll be good, because uh, they kind of sucked. It's been, it's been, it's been a lot of that. Been a lot of that. Um, oh shit! Started BoJack. Oh my god! The episode one of season four of BoJack is a, um, is a, 
a Bo another BoJack masterpiece knocks it out of the park. I actually, um, man, I I've got to say, I I think that, uh, I absolutely think that um, it's the first great piece of art of the Trump age. Oh shit, I'm gonna get political. I don't mean to be getting political again, but briefly, I think it's the first great piece of. Uh, art of the Trump age of, of um, that truly gets the cynicism of the moment, that truly gets the nihilism of the moment, uh, that just understands, that truly understands the 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 the, the, the inanity of it, and and um, and instead of even like the best, you know, like the Colbert Report or not Colbert Report, you know, Stephen Colbert Late Night or whatever he does, whatever it's called. Um, or, or uh, even John Oliver, uh, like there's something BoJack gets, something more essential um, that it gets. Uh, it's just uh, that first episode. It's a it's a it's a masterpiece from a show that produces uh, you know masterpieces pretty much constantly. But it's it it stands uh, it stands up there with like the fucking. Um, incredible episode from season two the game show episode uh it stands up there with the season uh three the sarah lynn episode oh it's just so good so good guys you got to be watching bojack you've got to watch bojack i mean back in the 90s i was in a very famous tv show uh it's just ugh, bojack if you're not watching bojack okay also while I, uh, because I'm so high, I can just, I feel like I have, um, I, I have uh, leeway er, to talk about whatever I kind of want to talk about. So I'm going to talk about this. While I have my soapbox here, and feel free to keep talking about weed, because weed is great. But I'm going to talk about the second best television show of all time that you've probably never even heard of that just concluded that I have not yet even watched the third and final season of because I won't, I'm too scared to because it's too beautiful, it's too perfect, and I just wanted to stay pure and everlasting in my heart, uh, even though I have heard the third season is amazing. And that show is uh, the Comedy Central um, tour de force called Review. Review with Forrest McNeil, uh, starring the inimitable Andy Daly. It is a goddamn fucking insane masterpiece. Um, it has that Rick and Morty like feel of how are they ever going to top what they did before? I, let me just describe. Um, uh, let me let me just go ahead and describe my feeling watching, especially the second season. The first season is is great, and it's so great. You've got to watch it, especially season one, episode three, titled "Pancakes Pain." Well, let me let me back up for just a second and tell you what the plot of review is, and that why you should guys should watch it. I, I think it's on Amazon, by the way. Um. Um. So you should be looking at your Amazon Prime accounts right now to see if you can find a review. The premise of the show is it is there's a gentleman. Uh, he was a former like uh, critic for a newspaper, you know, reviewed like films for a newspaper, but decides to branch out and instead of reviewing just like films or books or you know art pieces or whatever. He's going to review life experiences and he's going to take suggestions from an audience. And he's going to review whatever an audience suggests to him. Um, and he has to review whatever that is. So, like, for the first the first episode, for example, um, they ask him um, to review, like, getting addicted. What's it like to get addicted to something? So he gets addicted to uh, uh, cocaine and uh, hilarity ensues but the second season of the show uh, every episode that finished I got depressed after watching it I got absolutely depressed because I was like man I've already seen something that's going to be like I've seen the best episode of this show it can't get any better 
they've topped themselves, it's all downhill from here, and yet every single time they manage to completely, utterly top themselves, uh, the writing in the show is stunning. I mean, I, I mean that in the, the, the true sense of the word, that you will be slack-jawed at, at, at sequences, you will be like, I can't believe I... I, I, I can't believe what I'm watching. I can't believe somebody's brain could conceive the sequence of events. You got to watch it. Review. Comedy Central. Check it out. Travis Sainer, what is BoJack? Um, uh, uh, first off, Mariah, that show is just simply called Review. 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 Nice and simple title. Travis Sainer, uh, the show is not BoJack's. That's my fault. My terrible enunciation. It is Bojack, B-O-J-A-C-K, Horseman, Bojack Horseman. It is a Netflix show, only on Netflix, a Netflix original. Uh, it is a cartoon about a horseman. Uh, um, it is, but it is also about um, depression, ennui, malaise, and... Um, the modern condition and uh it's also about animal puns brilliant brilliant animal puns and depression you gotta watch it must watch tv much watch much 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 watch tv um uh Morama, i have not seen the most uh like the three or four most recent episodes of rick and morty i'm actually saving it to the end of the season and i'm going to watch them all together that's the way i like it i like to just sort of marathon things and then Wheats, I have seen Narcos. Uh, I have seen the first two seasons of Narcos and thought it was pretty good. Uh, not not incredible. It's not my favorite show, but uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, I've heard season three. I, I've heard mixed things, but m the the large opinion seems to be that the show is even better. Uh, not that they got rid of the previous. Uh, well, I have uh, no spoilers. Um, Yes, Mariama, make sure you look up review. It'll change your life forever. It's that good. It's that good. Um, uh, so, yeah, I've seen Narcos. like it quite a bit. Okay, that's enough TV talk. We, we, we've talked TV enough. Let's talk... Uh, oh, my God. I've got one more bite of brownie. Let's just get it done. Let's get it down the old hatcher ho. Hatcher? What am I talking about? Give me a round of applause. Woo! Don't give me a round of applause. How self-aggrandizing. Bam. Okay. This is not at all a... Oh, that's pretty good, Kappa. That's not bad at all. Well, I'm sure it's not accurate at all, Moirama. I'm sure it is not accurate at all. And Kappa, uh, is that any of the Corobas? Uh, so is that like you could buy three black bars and get one free, or three 5150s, three of the 500 milligrammers, get one free? If so, that's a good deal. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I've heard I've heard good things about it. That is cool. That is cool, Kappa. I would get on that deal. Um, <clears throat> um Oh shit, I keep forgetting what I'm talking about. Higher and higher Boy guys, uh I am pleasantly stoned. Um Let's talk uh Oh, oh, yes, that's what I was going to talk about. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. Whew, I am, I'm pretty high. That's what I was going to mention is, so when I'm on this tolerance break, um, uh, do you, would you be interested, and this is not like a, please just say yes, 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 yes. I would, it does sound interesting. I, I, oh, genuinely only if you're curious and if you're watching this video later, please comment and let me know as well. 
uh, because I don't want to do it if it's if it's of interest to no one. But I'm thinking about doing like some um, maybe like three times a week or something, a couple of videos just about the process of going through the tolerance break. You know, just like short five minute videos or something um, talking about the tall. You know, I, I, it sounds boring to me, uh, but I would also use it as it as an excuse to uh, proselytize for the things in life that I love like review which i've been sitting here going like you guys have got to watch it it's so good you've got to watch it it's so good so basically i would be like man this tolerance break sucks i really want to smoke weed i want, to, I want weed really badly but man guys have you heard of difficult people on netflix it's so good it's so fucking good wow it's got like the best jokes it feels like it was written just for me does that sound uh uh does that sound at all interesting or should uh should i just the, the, and remember there's still reviews coming out there's still reviews coming out it's kappa thank you okay i appreciate that feedback um so i'm thinking about doing it um uh, again it would be like here here's here's what i'm guessing the trajectory is going to be watch this Here's what I'm going to guess the trajectory is. But who knows? This tolerance, the tolerance break sucks. Tolerance break sucks. Man, I hate this. 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 Oh, this isn't so bad. 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 Oh, this... Oh, this... It's kind of nice not being on weed. It's kind of nice not being on weed. I actually feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. Wow. I'm glad I should probably not be smoking anymore. I don't need weed. I don't need weed in life. And then one month is up. And I'm down here and it's like, fuck weed. I don't need weed again. One month is up and it's like, time to smoke weed. And then I'll probably be right back using weed again. That's my, <laughs> that's my guess of how the trajectory is going to go. But who knows? Could go anyway. Uh, <laughs> that could go anyway. Uh, we'll find out together as a team. Um, and, um, God damn. Uh, did I fix this? Does this work now? You bet your ass it works. Got that pretty close to my face. Guys, never, ever, 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 ever mess with a blowtorch while high. Do not do it. It does seem crazy irresponsible that All right, more I'm a <coughs> We'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot for sure. We'll see what happens. <coughs> oh, Lancaster, welcome, buddy. <coughs> well, you must a riveting discussion about the film it you missed me eat the last half <coughs> or so sorry my nose is kind of itchy um excuse me actually maybe uh, you missed me eat the last half of this can of co bernie which is why i'm so incredibly high right now uh oral lancaster uh i am very very high guys uh give me a quick um uh, <laughs> that's a brilliant, that's a beautiful thing, Travis. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Uh, play Jeopardy music in your minds while I'm gone. Do, 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 do,
damn it. Here's the shitty thing about getting up, guys. Um, oh, shit. Shirt, we got an art! Okay, so, hey, Scott Harris, what's up? What's up from Virginia, man? Welcome from Virginia. Great state, the great state of Virginia. Look at my hair right now. Look how crazy it looks. By Nart, we barely knew E. Um... Boy, uh, I am having trouble keeping up with this chat because I am super high. Scott Harris, uh, never had an edible, so I watch your vids. That's awesome to read, Scott Harris. You're enjoying edibles vicariously through me. I love to read that. I love that you are getting to experience edibles through uh, my reviews. I don't know if that's true, but that is cool. Um, Scott Harris, I hope you get to... Wait, you're in Virginia. Why don't you go to D.C., uh, the District of O. Columbia, and try an edible there? Um, uh, you know, it could be, it's legal there. Uh, I'm sure you could find one pr rather easily and uh, get to experience the uh, incredible fun that is an edible up there. Uh, Morima, update. Uh, I am at a, uh, roughly a nine, somewhere around there. Uh, 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 having trouble remembering, uh, short-term memory loss, can't remember what I was just talking about, literally cannot remember what I was talking about before you asked me this question, almost can't remember the question that you asked me, and had to look at the chat to be sure that you asked me the question, so update, wait, how high are you? The answer is very, 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 very high. Uh, still, thankfully, super high, but not like, in, not tired or like ready to pass out or ready to, you know, that kind of high, but just like, oh man, everything is a little bit, ooh, um, I don't know if I could survive that, man. <laughs> I don't know if I could survive a thousand can of coke. Well, that would, uh. I've, I've actually, I have never seen a thousand milligram can of Coke in, in a dispensary before. I've seen them listed, I've seen them advertised before at dispensaries, but I've never seen them uh, on sale. Uh, I'm sure they, I know they exist, I know they exist, um, but I've never, never seen one. Uh, if presented with the opportunity, I would probably pick one up and uh, give it a review, but I don't know how I would do it. I would do it, I would spread it out over a number of hours. Um, yeah, Scott Harris, to totally give it a try. Totally give it a try. It, it, it's it's a it's a very fun experience. So, Scott, do you uh, do you get to smoke at all? Do you uh, do you have like a dealer for weed, or do you uh, or do you totally abstain from uh, from weed altogether? Um, uh, <coughs> uh, how does it feel? Well, uh, I actually. I have a slight body high. I feel it mostly kind of like in my chest, kind of like a pleasant heaviness, uh, I guess would be the only way to describe it. A pleasant heaviness, a pleasant warmness. Excuse me. Keep getting stuff out of my nose. Um, a pleasantness in my chest, but not much of a body high. Mostly in the head, and mostly it's this... Uh, uh, that you know, great sort of sensation of uh, being more interested in things, uh, feeling like you could uh, want to express things uh, more. Um, da, 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 da. I don't know. Uh, th that's the uh, that's the paradox of being super super high is that you can't quite explain how high you are. Um, the more high you are, the more you want to explain it, the less you're able to do so. 
the 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 the, the paradox of of of, uh, of smoking, unfortunately. Um, that is terrible, Scott. Ah, I I can't wait for the rest of the country. And I'm sorry about blowing my nose or whatever here on camera. Uh, ooh, that sounds amazing, Travis Sanier. That sounds that sounds amazing. I want I want a five star. Uh, I want a like Michelin starred restaurant with edibles. Give it to me. Like this AC, beautiful, sweet, sweet AC. Fuck the law. Ah. Uh, sometimes I feel like we need to say that about certain certain things. Um, weed laws in in states that. Uh, uh, are still backwards is, is, is one of the is one of the cases <sighs> sorry for drinking here on camera man um, let's see guys I have been playing a short ton a short ton of the switch game um, Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Builder. Who would have ever thunk that this year I would have been playing that much Switch? Like I thought that I, I, I was that was a total doubter, a complete doubter. Um, but then, of course, like a dum dum, bought into the hype right before it. You know, I was like, oh, I guess I gotta get one, and I've really enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, loved Zelda. Like Splatoon quite a bit, played you know like probably twenty hours of multiplayer, and now I am just enamored with the Mario plus Rabbids. Although it's hard, it's so hard. Um, uh, Marima, I am actually less hungry than you would think. I have gotten mostly to the point where I don't get the munchies as much anymore. I I, I do on occasion. I still do on occasion, but I've mostly broken the munchies sort of barrier where. You know, when you're really first starting out for the first couple of years or so, it, it's just almost impossible to keep away from food. Oh, Titanfall 2. Um, I um, I played a shit ton on Xbox One for a while. Uh, and I was actually, it was probably the best I've ever been at a shooter was at Titanfall 2. Uh, and loved it. I probably, I played it for a good two months solid. Uh, and then my friends started to drift away from it, unfortunately, so eventually I did. Uh, but then I did pick it up again on PC uh, back in, like, the spring. And unfortunately, I played a, a, a decent amount of it, but I am just... I cannot compete on mouse and keyboard. But I still think the game is brilliant, 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 both multiplayer and single player. I love it through and through. Uh, Oral Lancaster, I am sorry to hear it, buddy. And uh, Moraima is trying to give me the munchies, I feel. But Scott Harris, I agree, man. Titanfall 2 is an excellent game. An excellent, excellent game. The single player, man, what a fun, fun, unique experience. You know, from a studio, it went from having no single player to this, like, incredibly creative and different first-person shooter. You know, that put many single uh, first-person shooter uh uh, experiences to shame oh that's cool Scott Harris so ah oh, man I actually uh, I don't have an Xbox one anymore I have a switch a ps4 pro and two gaming PCs and that's that's what I've got uh, I do a lot of VR what are you doing excuse me my dog's gonna make some noise Crazy, crazy dogs. Yeah, I'm mostly a PC guy, though. Play games mostly on the PC. Oh, that's the thing I hate about standing up, is that you guys know I'm wearing gym shorts, because I'm lazy. Well, first of all, this is the official Wheat shirt, so if you didn't notice, I guess I should reveal it. This is the official Wheat shirt. Look, because it's got pineapples. Why the pineapple has become the Wheat's logo, I don't really know, oh. Uh, but uh, it's just like what our the uh, Wheat's... Uh, the official Weeds designer sort of designed for us at the beginning, and I kind of liked it, so we've gone with it a whole hog into the pineapple. Um, 
You should go watch Action Bronson's food videos. It's called Fuck, That's Delicious. Fuck, that sounds amazing. That sounds incredible. I probably should not watch it right now because I will give myself the munchies. And that's not good for anybody. That just ain't good for no one, getting, giving yourself the munchies. I, I don't need no munchies. I'm so high, I'm just making noises now. I, I, I can't even make cool sentences anymore. I'm um, barely coherent. That's, Mariam, if you want to know how I'm feeling, that's how I'm feeling. Is I feel like coherency is, there's a line. Coherency, here's me, here's the line, and I am about to just broach that barrier and I am uh uh I uh there's a ring on my finger um uh I have I do have a uh, uh, uh um uh wheats the wheats is 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 an institution uh the person myself um uh yes Yes, but no, she, she she is not. She is not. She is definitely not. Um, but she is not against it in any way, shape, or form. Uh, she is just personally not, but in no way, shape, or form are against it. Um, that's just uh, that's just the deal. Um, yes. Oh my God, Oral Lancaster. I, the one of my favorites. One of my favorite feelings ever. I used to. Um, Ooh, Scott Harris. I never thought about that before. That's not a bad idea at all. Watermelon. Mmm, that's a good idea. That's a damn good idea. Um, uh, Oral Lancaster, you're so right. Uh, I used to, back in the good old days, back uh, when I used to not have uh, permanent access to weed and add to ration, uh, back when I didn't live in California, uh, Sunday would be, I mean, we'd smoke intermittently throughout the week, but Sunday would be our big day, and we'd, like, clear our schedules, be done by with things by, like, 4 p.m., then we'd get some food, you know, at, like, 4, 4.30 in the afternoon, take it home, and then just, like, get super high, eat a lot of food, and then watch, you know, a really good movie or whatever the case may be. And I know that sounds really, 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 really really lame but man i loved it loved it so much loved it oh such pleasant memories um but uh but yeah uh my, my, i am uh i am super 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 stoned you are not you are not incorrect about that you are not you're not incorrect at all ooh um responsible stoner that's right yes 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 never never smoke and drive no don't, don't don't do that don't don't be get high and drive stay home have fun don't 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 make a uh, a bad name of the hobby by doing something foolish the hobby this isn't a hobby don't just, just you know. Always, uh, as as Oral Lancaster was saying, just be responsible. Always smoke responsibly. I don't know how I got on that subject. Well, I I know how Oral Lancaster, but I don't mean to preach. I'm not here to preach. I ain't no preacher. That's Garthenus's business. I have read Preacher, the graphic novel, all seven, eight volumes. So good, by the way. I have yet to watch the show, which is weird for me because I really, really, really love the graphic novel Preacher. Love it, love it, love it, love it. But I have yet to watch the show. But I will at some point. It is on the to-watch list. Um, I've got a lot of things on the to-watch list, however. What else? Uh, I don't... I, I keep talking about TV. TV's boring. You know who likes talking about TV? Uh... Not me. I oh uh oh big email just came in. Boop boop boop. All right, good email. Later, Kappa.
We're going to miss you, buddy. Enjoy whatever you go eat. I'm going to blame your absence on uh, all these people talking about food. I think everybody in here is nice and high now because everybody's like, oh, I want food. I want food. And now, now they are starting to give me the munchies, to be honest. I am starting to get them munchies, too. Ooh, I want some food. What am I feeling for food? <sighs> Stop talking about food, Wheats. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Now you're getting yourself... See, look, now I've got on a tangent. Now all I'm doing is having to talk about food. Uh, Scott Harris, are you talking about the original anime? Or, uh, I don't know why I said it like that. The, uh, like the anime version, which I've never seen. Or the new Netflix movie, Death Note. Uh, which one? Uh, I've not seen either, but, uh, I have heard that the Netflix movie is quite bad, which is unfortunate because I was kind of interested in it, uh, especially because I like the director. I like uh, I like him quite a bit. Uh, if you've never seen the movie The Guest, oh, the Netflix one. Okay, uh, I, I actually do want to watch it despite the bad reviews because I like the director. Uh, Scott Harris, if you liked it, if you liked the Netflix movie, uh, Google the movie The Guest. The Guest. It's a great movie, a great, great, great movie, uh, a real sort of throwback, um, and uh, it, it's it's a wild ride. Uh, I almost would suggest not to watch the trailer just because it's such a wild experience. Um, uh, oh, later, Mariah. Take care, buddy. Uh, uh, but but you should give the director's movie the guest a chance. So good, so good. But yeah, I, I think I am going to watch Death Note, even though I haven't, uh, even though the reviews are sort of uh, a little less than positive, just because I, I like the guy so much. All right, man, I appreciate it. Later, dude. Uh, yeah, I'll have to give it a chance. Uh, oh, man. All this talk of food. All this talk of food. All right, okay, that's it, guys. I, I'm going to do the same. Everybody's got me all excited for food now, too. Good night, everyone. Take care. Thanks for watching Wheats, and we will see everybody on a later stream. Peace. Whoa, wish me luck on my tolerance break. Bye, guys.